Hey guys, it's Lizette from Crusette Designs and I decided to do a quick little video on my Nikki the Nikki jellyfish on how to do a little embroidery design on the top. This is what it'll look like when it's done. So here you're at the point where it looks like a Pac-Man and you did the eyes, the blush, and now you're gonna sew on the top. So choose your color. I chose this dark purple. Cut a very long piece. It's better to have too much so you don't end up tying it off and having to add more yarn in the middle of doing the design. So just thread your needle. Okay, then take the head part, have it looking straight at you. Here's the finished one. And just plan to start your first little loop thing. <laughs> Um, so that the two are kind of so it's centered with the face if you want you can have it where this is actually coming down the middle like that however you want to do it this is just how I did it um, I really kind of wing it each time but I'm doing this to kind of show you step by step on my little processes so I have it facing me and as you can see here it starts right after that first row where you did the magic ring you start in one of the stitches there coming up from the inside so take this one and I'm gonna start it right there okay come up and then as you can see on this one I went down down and then a bit at an angle so down one down two down at an angle down one. Oh, and this is a good time to tie off the beginning. So while you have your little tail in the first stitch you just did, I do, th I always do three knots. I don't know why. Three just feels right. Especially if you're giving it to a baby, just to make sure nobody chokes on anything. Okay. So we did one stitch, we tied a knot. Then we're gonna come down one more stitch from where we went, where we were. See that? Come up, go back down. Now we've got two going down. So we've got one, two, and this one, instead of coming straight down, I went at an angle like that. And it really, honestly, it is slightly different each time because it depends on where your stitches are lined up, you know, and where I started and where the where there's increases and things like that can kind of, not throw off, but change a little bit where you want to come up. So I have, I have done a loop where I ended up pulling it out and changing a stitch or two just because I didn't like the shape. So your goal is just to get it to curve as much as possible. All right, so then we did one, two, three, at an, one, the third one at an angle. The fourth one is one stitch in that same, following that same row. So one stitch, two stitches over. So we got one here, one over from where we were. And then again, Did that much and then so we just did this and this now we're gonna go kind of up into the left a little bit to kind of curve it up so instead of here what it would make like a sharp angle we're gonna come up oops here see that And then one, two, straight back up to the first, where, um, so that you're one stitch away from where you started. So right now we just did this. We're gonna go one, two. And two. 
Can you see that? How I ended one stitch away. So you got your first loop done. And this is here, so the other the last one will be here, and nice and centered with the face. Okay, so the next one, if you look on the one that's done, we are kind of like see how these were one stitch apart, but this one sort of looks like it's two. So, and then over here you can see that I have them touching. So again, it's not perfect. Um, I'm gonna try to keep with just having one stitch apart. Um, just to make it line up more consistent. This is actually not the most perfect example. I'm not perfect. Okay, so we're gonna come up one stitch from the last one. Again, here's that magic ring from the beginning. That's one, that's one stitch. And then same thing like we did here. We went down one, down two, going kind of straight. So let's do right here. Where do I want to go here? Let's try that one. Down one. One right below that. The third one goes at an angle. Down, um, down and at an angle. And then one, two, straight in that row. So here's one, straight from the last one. Now you see how you see how that last one I just did looks like it's cutting too quick up? So if we look here, when I did the one two, it looked like it was really staying flat. So here's what I was saying where you kind of have to make adjustments because this is made in the spiral row. So technically, even though we are in the same line for this part, it's gonna, you know, dip down because it's a spiral that at some point, you know, it curves down and it's gonna be noticeable. But before I make any adjustments, let me just see how it turns out. So we did the one, next one, it actually might work out. And then two. Yeah, it's not so bad actually. Okay, so we did one, two, then one that goes up and to the left at an angle. So we're going up one row and then to the left. So right there. And then it's one, two, up. Now, okay, here's an example to show you how things don't always line up perfectly because it's a spiral with continue, you know, we're doing uh, continuous rounds. Once I go up one here, I'm already, here we go. So one stitch up. I'm already at that be that beginning part, even though this other one I was able to go up to because this is where that spiral joins. But in my opinion, that imperfection's okay. If that bothers you, you would want to go back to this stitch and bring it out down one more row here. So let's do that real quick just to show you. Okay, so we went back to after the first one, second, the third one at an angle. And just to give us more distance from the center, instead of us going straight across like the first one, we're gonna go down another row right here. Still at an angle instead of straight down. So that's one, two, angle, and then two across. So one, two, angled. That's gonna count as the one across. Here's my two across. So one across, two across, up at an angle. So 
we'll go here I'm going up and to the left and then one two should bring us to the to the first row one two okay see how this doesn't line up perfect that one is too far in this one's a little bit out but I'd rather do the one that's more out and the last one so the last one still ended with one space in between those two so that's what you'll do for the last two same thing so we skip one stitch and start here once one space in between and do the same process two more times And then once you're done, I know it looks a mess in here, but you're just gonna tie it off just like you did at the beginning. So here's where it ended and just tie, just making sure you're not going through where people can see it in the front on the good side. Just go through a loop somewhere and do about two or three knots. So you see how they're both not identical you know, they're not perfect. I didn't even do them both exactly the same. They're like snowflakes. They're never the same. But I honestly, I mean, it really just depends on how much of a perfectionist you are, if that'll bother you or not. Um, but I think it still looks cute and I think it still works. So if you have any questions, you can comment below or email me. Um, and thanks for purchasing my pattern of Nikki the Nikki jellyfish. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Titi Lizette.